When looking at EPD values for a bull, seeing all those numbers at once can be a little overwhelming. Where do you start? It might seem best to focus on a single EPD and work towards cattle that are exceptional for one trait. But while you can make rapid progress in that one trait, it's not a good idea. Other traits will be changing too, and they could be changing for the worse if you're not paying attention. How can we make progress in multiple traits at once? The easiest way is to use an economic selection index. Different indexes have been designed for different breeding objectives and can include any combination of terminal, maternal, and functional traits. But all indexes fundamentally work the same way. An index is calculated by multiplying each EPD in the index by a dollar value. In other words, the importance of each trait is weighted by its real-world economic importance. When an EPD has a big impact on profitability, it ends up representing a larger piece of the economic selection index. That's one major advantage of economic selection indexes. They take into account market trends and input costs. Most economic selection indexes are reported as a dollar value, allowing you to directly compare bulls based on their profitability. For example, let's say you're using the American Angus Association's dollar B or beef value index to compare two Angus bulls. The dollar B index is designed to represent the difference in post-winning profitability of each bull's calves if all calves are retained through finishing and sold on a grid. This is a terminal index, so it's made up of only EPDs for terminal traits, with heavy emphasis on marbling and yield to help producers add value and capture premiums. Each trait is weighted by its economic importance and then added up to become the dollar B index. The difference in the index values of the bulls represents the average difference in profit of each bull's calves. So, if bull A's dollar B value is $50 higher than bull B's dollar B value, his calves are expected, on average, to be $50 more profitable through the feedlot and on the rail. But what if you're a cow-calf producer who typically sells calves at weaning and keeps back some of your own replacement heifers? In that case, you want to use an economic selection index made up of different traits. Another example from the American Angus Association is the recently introduced dollar M, a maternal weaned calf value index, designed to represent profitability from conception to weaning of their calves, considering some of the female calves will become replacements in the herd and go on to have calves of their own in future generations. This index includes nine traits important to today's cow-calf producers, emphasizing lower mature cow size while improving functional traits like heifer pregnancy, docility, foot claw set, and foot angle. The way that economic selection indexes are calculated may seem a little complicated, but at the end of the day, they're a simple tool to select for multiple traits at once and focus on profit. Remember, just like with EPDs, different breeds report different economic selection indexes. Index values only have meaning within the same breed. Economic selection indexes provide a way to preliminarily sort animals when buying bulls and making breeding decisions. Once animals are sorted by their overall merit, you can then fine-tune your decisions based on specific EPDs.